Internet of Things is something that has a lot of promise in the healthcare industry. And wearables, specifically, is really exciting in terms of what we can do in terms of monitoring and improving healthcare outcomes. Joe, you've built a solution at Flowsonics Medical that leverages ultrasound sound technology to improve health outcomes. How does your technology work? We've uh, started off by building a wearable Doppler blood flow monitor. So it uses ultrasound technology to essentially be a speed gun for blood cells as they move through the major vessels of the body. And the reason we want to know that information is so that we can get a sense of how the heart's behaving on a beat-to-beat -beat basis. So you can imagine if the heart squeezes uh, with a lot of force, blood cells move faster. If you've got a weak pulse, a weak heartbeat, those blood cells move slower. And right now that's something that's very difficult to tell clinically. It, generally it happens late in, in a patient's care episode, especially when they're critically ill, kind of like in, in the, uh, the intensive care unit. We want to give the clinician a way to get that information much, much earlier in the ambulance, in the emergency room, or in the operating room, so they can make better decisions for that patient earlier. So there's like a cardiac event uh, in someone's home, paramedics arrive, and your technology flow patch can help save that patient. Right from the, the moment that that patient's identified as being critically ill, our device would go on, it would give the clinician, the nurse, the paramedic, the doctor, beat to beat hemodynamic information on how their, their course of management's working. Why this is really important is a lot of patients who are critically ill um, don't respond well to uh, intravenous fluids. Uh, it's about 50%. The other 50% respond uh, really well to intravenous fluids. So the IV fluids are the first line treatment for um, anybody that's, that's hypotensive, has low blood pressure, might be in shock. Uh, if you, you put two or three liters of fluids on board, you can raise their blood pressure up, uh, increase the volume in the tank. Uh, the flip side is if that patient's one of those 50% who's got a weak heart, it's, it's a flip of a coin. How does that get handled today without technologies like Flowpatch? Best guess, best guess, yeah. So my, my co-founder, John uh, Kenny, is a Stanford tra trained intensivist. And he came to the company, we, when we started the company, he came and he said, Joe, I, this is something that's really difficult for us to do I don't get this information until a patient's late in the ICU and they're already two, three, four liters fluid positive. It's too late for me. And we need to help people get this information much further upstream so that ideally they don't show up in my ICU. And that, that's really the, uh, the genesis of the company. And it is a very low cost uh, Internet of Things wearable because you have a disposable element to it or you say a single use element right. to it. Why is that so important? What we've done is reimagined a really trusted clinical imaging modality in, in, in ultrasound and being able to get one of the more complex uh, features of the ultrasound machine, you know, the big bedside cards, being able to take that really complex circuitry and bring that on board into a very small form factor. And what's, what's allowed us to do that is a little bit of timing, some really creative electronic engineering, and some really talented people that understand the, the clinical use case and, and the form factor around it. So it's it's been, a, you know, a, a convalescence of uh, some really good ideas. And what kind of IP have you built around the solution? We've got all sorts of IP. So we've, we've done a lot of work around the actual transducers themselves, how we get them on the patient. Uh, the ease of use right now, the, the way you acquire these signals is about a 25 minute workflow. We've brought that down to about three seconds. And having them in a small disposable form factor, single use form factor, allows them to be anywhere in the hospital, right? They can be on crash carts, they can be at the bedside, they can be in the EM, uh, emergency uh, medical technician's uh, personal kit, they can be in the physician's uh, lab coat or the nurse's pocket. It's, it's a really versatile form factor. And because it works with a smartphone, uh, we've developed for iOS, it works on iPads, it could work on third party uh, patient monitors. There's no limit to where you can get the data which also opens up a lot of really um, great applications in resource light environments. You know, uh, you can think of a nursing station in a flying community in northern Canada or developing world hospital, you know, places that don't have these big uh, modern day ICUs. They still need monitoring. People still need management. Right. And we think our, our technology fits in really nicely there.